Yeah. Hi, welcome to Steve Jack uh, on tour here in Dublin uh, with a good friend of mine, Barry Walsh, who's just set up a new whole facility, which I think is going to be an interesting thing for us to explore because what we're doing is, is you've kind of merged kind of uh, the whole medical aspect with fitness into a whole new brand new concept and you're about to sort of uh, embark upon that and it's called MedFit. You know, where did this kind of come from, the concept come from? Um, it's a fusion of the fitness industry and concepts within the fitness industry and the medical industry mainly around rehabilitation and prehabilitation. Okay. So looking at safe, efficient and effective ways for people to train and be rehabilitated. Okay, one of the really cool things I think that the fitness industry doesn't do and what you guys are doing here is that the fitness industry is notoriously poor at getting data off their clients. Mm. And what this whole concept from what, I, what you've been saying to me has pretty much been based around actually having referral intakes from the medical fraternity, the physio fraternity, sending you into, into the facility here because you've got the relevant systems in place to get data off every single time they come and visit. Ooh. So maybe we can go have a little quick explore next door and have a little tour of the facility and we can talk through how our product comes. Okay. Come with me. <laughs> so as the, as the uh, members kind of come in, this is the, kind of the first kind of setup we look uh, as, the, as they come in. There's two kind of zones, isn't there Barry? There's kind of the prehab mm. and then there's the performance kind of, kind of zone. So, yeah. so talk us through the, kind of the, the first and the performance zone. What, what, kind, of, what okay. kind of happens here? In, the, in the, uh, this area is, is more prehabilitation and it's more about safe, effective and efficient training for our clients. Um, we've invested in the Milan system. The Milan system gives people that uh, time efficient, uh, energy um, focused, strength conditioning and cardio workout. So this, because people might not be aware of Milan, so how, how does Milan work? Have you got a card on you, Barry? We can have to take a little look. Get I the, do. So maybe we can uh, set, set ourselves up with one of the, one of the systems here. Maybe we can carry the press or... Okay, so me, me, Milan's a concept which basically is, is, is a recording every single rep, every single exercise that you do. So now what's happening here with, with you guys are kind of the interface between medicine and fitness. Yes. What the medical people are, 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 are love about referring people into you guys is the fact that they know that they're getting their clients are kind of getting the data they need to, to sort of sort of get the feedback upon whether you're being effective or not. Exactly. So how, how does this data work? How, how do you want to get that? Um, each of our clients get a, a personal identity card and what we do is when we set up all our clients up, we, we set them up on the machines first, we make sure that it's safe, so we set up the settings on, on the machines so it's personalised to each individual. Right, so you also, put the card in and yeah. it automatically kind of sits. Exactly, yeah. exactly, see that's it. So you'll actually see, see this seat yeah. actually moving. <laughs> Into, into, the, into the client's position. So this is the exact settings for that particular customer exactly. automatically configured. Exactly. And what, the, what that does for the client is it gives them great confidence in what they're doing and, and make sure that they're safe. Yeah. So from the client's perspective, they know that the weight's right. Another huge advantage to me on is it's concentric and eccentric training. So you can lower the eccentric training as well as the concentric training. Something again is very, very unique in the fitness industry. I think one of the one of the big uh, missing things that the uh, fitness industry misses for programming's perspective from the members is obviously the eccentric loading. For example, bicep curl. The eccentric loading creates much bigger muscle damage. And what I think the Milan equipment does is that it creates a forced eccentric. Yes. So the member has to go through that eccentric phase automatically. And, and how does the system work, Barry? How, how, when someone comes in, because it, there's a kind of a, a circuit format, so how, how does all that kind of flow in terms of a workout? How long does it take? Right. What's the, what are the ratios? How, what, is it, what happens there? Okay, the client will always start on, on the first machine. In our case, it's the leg press. So everyone, everyone starts here? Yes. They do, they do one minute on the machine. Now it's timed us through our uh, water feature which is, is the bubbles. Okay, so when the bubbles start, they do one minute complete reps. Another unique uh, element. So one minute on. One minute on, half a minute off. 30 seconds off, 30 seconds off next exercise. The next machine. Yeah. And they do four minutes on the cardio. So one minute on, 30 seconds, and then the next machine. So there's three strength, three strength machines in a row, four minutes cardio, three strength machines, and how many times around? Twice. Twice around, how long does it take? Four minutes. 
34 minutes, uh, 34 minutes in total to go completely around uh, the Milan circuit, and every single rep and every single workout is recorded, which you can link back to the medical fraternity. So insurance companies are feeling more confident to uh, pay for their training. Costs. So the client can actually see the results because you can record their strength. So if they're improving their strength, they're improving their metabolism, improving everything that it can. Everything's, do to. everything's kind of captured. Now, what's kind of interesting now is you've got the interface between the fixed kind of zone, and then you've got a functional zone over here, where you have the kind of uh, your personal trainers and strength conditioning guys have got the personal training toys, the strength zone, you've got some dumbbells, medicine balls, you're getting some TRXs in, and some other toys, so that once members have established themselves over here, they can come across, but of course, everything is still recorded. Yeah. Now, as a part of your membership, members must complete, is it two workouts on the yeah. minute? Yes, a week. Per week. Two, week, two a week, and then we supplement that then with some strength, conditioning work, functional work, dynamic functional work, yeah. and stretching. And you are, because you also got a facility in the city, and this facility is actually, uh, all, all those smaller and more boutique and no exercise classes is more expensive in terms of uh, a membership. What's a membership a month? Yeah. Uh, it's currently 90 euro, we'll be going to 120 euro a month. 120, 120 a month gets you into the vicinity, so it's kind of that sort of high end, very highly targeted and specific. And a lot of you've got a lot of corporate clients who are then sort of paying uh, the, for, the, for their staff well, to come. One of the challenges, as you know, Steve, we have in the fitness industry is the credibility factor. Yeah. What, what we do with Milan and what you see when we go on the, the more medical clinical side is that the credibility is increased by the fact that we can give the data back to insurance companies, to the medical fraternity, to the physiotherapy uh, fraternity. So we get a lot of referrals as you rightly said with the introduction. Yeah, no, fantastic. So, you know, and, and that's a, a real big issue because what I've noticed in the past is that the medical fraternity doesn't trust to refer people in because they, they kind of view the trainers as cowboys. So what you're doing is you're creating a whole system and facility to take that credibility factor up so people feel safe referring people in. Exactly. And you've got a whole business model around that. Should we go check out the, uh, the, the, pre the, 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 the prehab area? We've got the medical side. Let's go. So... We'll go uh, through, everything's, everything's kind of linked, it's a little very close and neat. We'll just walk through the corridor and uh, guys, hopefully, we'll see, hopefully we'll get to see the guy, uh, John, who's uh, the head of the medical side. So, so we're here on the medical side and, and we've got a, a series of basically um, medical testing diagnostics that we can come in, basically mainly around spinal kind of function, uh, which we can get data on. So if we just come and get a little shot here of, uh, of basically the data that they kind of get, and uh, you can see that here's a whole lot of um, uh, medical based tests based around the machines here, which basically then assess the spinal um, uh, strength, isolation and, and uh, fitness of the spine through these different machines and so clients will kind of come in and if they're on, if they need some pre-rehabilitation they'll start themselves here with the physiotherapist and we're in luck today because we have John with us who's the head of the medical uh, facility. John, good to see you. How are we doing? Here, All right. So just talk us through this, um, this kind of zone here. What kind of happens here before members would kind of go through next door on the, on the medical side? I mean our, our key focus here is to get people's spines working properly. So sure. say if someone has an ongoing lower back problem, yeah. a little bit scared of going to the gyms, a little bit scared of going and doing some functional work, we want to start off as a test their spine to get a, um, a good view of the spinal conditioning of the muscles. So you can radiologically test someone's spine where you evaluate them with an MRI to see whether they have a damaged disc, etc. What we want to do is not alone just test radiologically, we want to test the conditioning of an isolated extension or flexion or left and right sure. side flexion or rotation. And what's kind of cool from what I've noticed, because they put me through some tests and, uh, you know, thankfully I'm okay, but uh, what happens is that you, the, 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 the diagnosis will pick up particular weaknesses. For example, if you're weak on the transverse on the left side and uh, weak on the frontal plane on the right side, your programming would be specifically targeted to only hit the transverse on the, right, on the left and only the frontal plane on the right. So specifically the weak areas are getting tested and again every kind of session is recorded on, on a card with the data loaded to this uh, the feedback device here and so everything's kind of recorded and linked seamlessly through with the fitness side. So we've got this kind of sort of matching between the medical and the fitness merged together uh, and getting the data specifically from each individual client. What we want to do is get people's backs working, condition a little bit better, then get them fitter, then yeah. get them functional. Or if someone comes in who purely wants to do function, realizes that their back is getting painful doing something, 
we'll work them backwards and bring them in here and test their spine and then obviously get them back more functional or get them stronger and fitter and ultimately it'll allow them to lead a better quality of life is what our yeah, perspective absolutely. on this is. Yeah. Yeah. And the great thing about this is the biofeedback, I mean, you, you, to be able to train, when we test you, we find your weaknesses, as Steve was saying, then we, we put you on a program which is targeted to improve you by up to about 25 to 30 percent of um, your put, the, potentially to improve to that level. Um, the training program, once you come in, it's all, it's all smart card, so once you, once you swipe in, your, your program will come up here. Once you're set into the machine, there's biofeedback to make sure you're training in the right range. And it gives us a very controlled environment to start someone sure. off. Particularly people who've lost their confidence in training, yeah. just to start them off that we're not going to re-injure them, basically. That's so this is kind of the, uh, so the, the prehab zone, and then you've got the kind of performance zone next door. Everything's recorded, all the data's recorded. I think the medical fraternity feels safe to refer people in because they kind of know exactly that the programming is taken care of it at a very good level. So, you know, I think this is kind of, you know, this this much needed gap that's being yeah, filled exactly. now between medicine and fitness and, the, you know, certainly I, think, I love what you guys are doing and you're certainly, you know, fit leaders in the fitness market. So, awesome. That's all right. Super. Thanks so much.